Hello, this video is for people who have the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S and have straight talk and um, having trouble setting up the MMS. You know, you hear a lot about uh, on the internet that you only can set up your MMS on straight talk is if you jailbreak the phone. However, you know, that's not true. Uh, personally, I don't like to jailbreak my phone. I'd rather uh, have it stock and uh, and plus, um, you know, I, I sometimes jailbreaking hurts the um, stability of the phone, and um, and then you know you you it causes more headaches than what it's worth. So it depends, you know, it depends what you want to do with it. But I I prefer not to jailbreak my phone. Uh, first thing you need to do is do make a backup of your phone using your iTunes. Um, you don't make a backup to your iCloud, so uh, you know you have to have it on your hard drive. So you just you know. Um, right click and you go to backup you let that back up give that a couple of seconds now when that's backing up what you also gonna need is uh, see now you know I already backed up so many times so it wasn't that much information that needed to be saved so that was pretty quick you're gonna need to use a program uh, called iBot I'm gonna take you to this right here this is um, the information on the program is called iBot, iCopyBot.com, and then you know it's basically an iTunes backup manager. So once you you know this is the link, I'm gonna put the link inside the description below. Uh, now once you get there, once you download the program, you can actually set up your data if you if you don't want to use the i I mean um the unlock it dot you know website. If you, if you don't want to use that, you can actually use this program to basically go into this file that you see right here and change every way that you see on um, WAP singular dot singular to ATT, you know, dot M V N O. But however, for the, for the MMS is this, this is what we need to worry about right here. So I'm going to open up my, um, my backup um, bot, which I have open down here already. So this is it. So now this is the backup that I should have, that I, that I just made right here yeah I just made that back up all right so now what you what you have to do is go over here then you find this folder this 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 file right here you just double click which is the same one that I have right here you just double click it it's gonna ask you you know you know if you like you can purchase the program but um you know if if, if, if you like it so much However, you can just hit cancel and it take you there anyway. Now, basically, you take all of this, you know, and the paste and cut to me is the easy way instead of trying to type each one out. Take all of that. Make sure you take only what you need. You know, don't grab any extra stuff down here. Then you just copy that. Then now you go back to your back about. Now, on, on yours, it'll look different because I already did this before, so the information is pretty much the same on both sides. Yours would be much shorter, and and obviously, like you see the server, you won't see that there. You won't see a lot of things there because this stuff is for um, straight talk. Odds are you still have information on AT and T. So you just basically what you want to do is what I what I usually do. I just take that, and I I get rid of everything. Now then I copy that in, which is basically the same thing. You hit save. Then you you close this out. Now, once you do that, you just go right. And once you save that, you know you just click on this, which is restore backup file to iPhone or iPod. You click there. It'll ask you, do you want to restore? You hit yes. Then you basically sit back and you wait. It's gonna probably take about five or six minutes to do that. Right, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, speed things up a, a little bit so I can turn pretty much of uh, six to seven minutes of restored time in about 30 seconds. Um, also, you'll notice that I'm doing this in um, Mac OS, um, but however, the, back, the iCopy Backup Bot uh, actually have a Windows version, which works pretty well, so um, it doesn't really make a difference which one you use, so the, uh, it's pretty much the same way. It's almost over now. 
And when it stops, you can get a little message. There you go. Backup has been restored. And that's it.